So we met really in your living room, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I just signed up for a random discovery group and you were in it and you were a nurse practitioner. And so I had emailed Linda. She was like, well, there's this um, woman in your discovery group who's a nurse practitioner, so maybe you guys could connect. And I remember at the time I had two young kids and I had a job and I didn't feel like I had any extra spare time. Mm -hmm. um, but I felt the Lord really saying, do this, mm -hmm. you know, be obedient and do this. I'm nervous to come up to college and, you know, the only thing I know that is stable is like I have my Bible and I have my journal and that's it. And then you were just so sweet and so quiet. You were like, well, how are you doing with that? And I think that was the start of um, just good accountability in our yeah. in your mentoring of just being like, well, wait, how are you doing with the Lord? And so I think my hesitations were that I didn't have a whole lot of time. Mm -hmm. And then it had been several years since I was in college. And I wasn't even that cool when I was in college. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I wondered if I would know how to relate. Mm -hmm. to a college kid. Right. We did a lot of like normal stuff. Like uh -huh. I would come over and do laundry. Do you remember that yeah. freshman year? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember folding Wheeling laundry talking about Ephesians 1. You do? Oh, yeah. I do don't remember, remember that. that. <laughs> I remember how we memorized it. Folding <laughs> laundry and talking about it. I mean, we would talk, but we would be driving around town picking up your kids. Mm -hmm. Or like one time, you were such a saint. You came to the nursing school parking lot. I ran outside, ate my lunch in your minivan, complained to you about nursing school, and ran back inside. And that was like a meeting for the week. But it didn't matter. Like, mm -hmm. I loved seeing you with your kids and like yeah. just doing life. So why did you keep coming back? Having someone consistently to know like, okay, if I have a problem with the Lord, if I'm reading a passage and it makes zero sense, there's someone at the end of the day that I can talk to about it. Even if we're both clueless together, mm -hmm. that's more encouraging than me just being like, oh my gosh, this doesn't make sense by myself. Mm -hmm. Did you get anything out? No, really, because <laughs> I, I think of this, I'm like, Stacy was such a saint and she like encouraged me and prayed for me and did, did this help you in any way? Not help you, but I don't know. Did the Lord teach you anything through this? Might Absolutely. I mean, I think God, just watching your spiritual journey, uh, encouraged mine, mm -hmm. you know. Even if we were in a little bit different places in our spiritual journey, we yeah. still had, I think, a mutual encouragement. And the, the ways that you grew in your faith automatically, just by me seeing it, helped mm -hmm. me grow in mine. Mm -hmm. I have so many letters from you. Like, I remember, I think I was home on break. But I, don't, I need to reread it. It's awesome just like your heart and not even necessarily like here are my like steps for living but even just Definitely like not. no no but even <laughs> just like you know I remember being in college and I remember not having it all figured out and remembering yeah. that I have to trust the yeah. Lord yeah. what stood out to me is your faithfulness in meeting with me even when I was not fun to meet with like really when I was in nursing school and like the Israelites in the wilderness had nothing on me in nursing school because I hated it and I was complaining to you all the time. But you kept meeting with me and you kept having me over and like yeah. just showed the patience and the grace of God to me. And I I think that has meant more than I could even like quantify. I think after college I was like, oh, we don't have to meet that much anymore. And, and then I was overwhelmed by your persistent like friendship with me and you'd be like, hey, I'm swimming at the Boys and Girls Club, I'm praying for you. Like, you know, you wanna come over for dinner? No, I'm gonna cry. And it was just <laughs> so, I was like, oh my gosh, she really cares about me. Like a sister, like I have found a dear, dear friend, not just a mentor, but a friend. And that meant so much to me. And when I came back from my overseas trip this summer, and like was talking to you about it and how it wasn't what I had anticipated and how God was leading me and like you started crying and I was like oh my goodness like like she really loves me like a friend yeah. what would you say to anyone who is wanting to be a mentor maybe he um, was kind of nervous about it like you were yeah I would say that that of course, when God calls, He equips anything that we want to do, right. that God wants us to do, mm -hmm. and He calls us to do, gives us that little nudge in our heart to do, that He will equip us with that. And even right. if we go in thinking that we don't know what we're doing, right. He'll provide that, and He'll give us more than we ever imagined it could be. Mm -hmm.